Okay, all right, thank you. For the first time ever, cameras were allowed inside the U.S. Space Command facility where the military tracks every rocket and missile launch anywhere in the world. And NBC News has also learned the Russians have launched a new spy satellite that is in the same orbit as our own spy satellite, and that has commanding generals concerned. NBC's Tom Costello has the report. Zero, ignition, liftoff of L-87. Go Falcon, go, go. February 2nd in California, SpaceX launched a classified government satellite into orbit, NROL-87. State separation confirmed. Believed to be a top-secret, state-of-the-art spy satellite that the Pentagon says will support its overhead reconnaissance mission. Also watching that launch, Moscow. And just last week, Russia launched its own spy satellite, Cosmo 2558, placing it in the same orbit and just beneath the U.S. satellite. That's really irresponsible behavior. In an exclusive interview with NBC News, Space Command, four-star General James Dickinson, says Russia may be trying to get an up-close look at U.S. spy capabilities. We see that it's in a similar orbit to one of our high-value assets for the U.S. government. And so we'll continue like we always do to continue to update that and track that. This is the U.S. space comm jock with an operation and limit to Fender conference. All conferees respond when pulled. Last week, our cameras were the first ever allowed inside the Space Command Joint Operations Center in Colorado Springs. It's at the, uh, the zenith, the very top of our space operations centers within the Department of Defense. Where the U.S. watches and tracks every missile and rocket launch anywhere in the world. From the war in Ukraine to Chinese military exercises off Taiwan to that Russian satellite launch. How quickly do they learn that something has launched somewhere in the world? We have some really good space capabilities today that will tell us almost immediately if there's been a launch. Longitude 80 degrees, 36 minutes west. This is the newest infrared satellite used to detect the heat signatures from any missile or rocket launch anywhere in the world. This is half scale. The real satellite is about the size of a school bus. Russia has uh, a similar capability with its own satellites. International satellite trackers say it's no coincidence that Russia launched its rocket at the very moment the U.S. spy satellite passed over the Russian launch site. There is a, a part of the, the current new Cold War is also going on in space. So it, it, it's basically part of this, this cat and mouse game uh, that's going on in space. In a show of force last November, Russia blew up one of its own orbiting satellites. And we continue today to track almost 1,500 pieces of debris from that uh, incident and that test event that they did. A new Cold War moving from the ground to space. Tom Costello, NBC News, Colorado Springs.